Hey guys, so I finally got my package delivered from the States and now I have all the little bits and pieces I needed to get the red drum brakes rebuilt and back together. So I think that's going to be our next job and then we can finally get the car on all four wheels. Alright guys, before I put this drum brake assembly together, I want to take a few minutes to go over a few of the components because Datsun did change the design of the drum brakes later in the production of the cars. Early model ones are from 1970 to 1976, 240Z, 260Z. If you've got a 1977 model Z, or a 1978 Model Z, the drum brakes will be the later design and it'll be different. I got caught out and I ordered the wrong spring kit. A lot of websites are American and in America a 77 or a 78 Model Z is called a 280Z. You can't get any confusion there. If you've got a 280Z uh, that's what you buy because that's a late model spring assembly if you're in Australia or Europe it was still called a 260Z but they just changed the drum brake assemblies in the later years so don't get confused let's have a look at the difference late model bottom spring early model bottom spring Top springs are the same, you can still use them, not a problem. The cups are different. These are the cups that hold the spring in place for our uh, shoes. And our pins that hold the shoes in place, a late model one is longer. So just be mindful, go off your year model, not off the designation, especially if you're ordering parts from Australia, because uh, I stuffed up and I ordered the wrong spring kit. Luckily it was only $15, but that's it's useless, I can't use that. I've had to clean up my old one. Wheel cylinders. Late model wheel cylinders, 280Z. Double piston separate adjuster uh, 240Z or a 260Z will have a single piston and the adjuster will be built into it so just another thing to take note of a difference with our adjusters uh, just a tip make sure you strip it apart you're going to clean it all up, you're going to take all the rust off. When you first get it, this adjuster wheel is probably going to be sitting somewhere in the middle. Because they've been adjusting the brakes over the years. It'll probably be sitting somewhere there. So it'll probably look something like that. You want to be winding it all the way in. It'll be rusty on this very edge, and I did make a mistake on the other side where I wound it in. I thought I had wound it in all the way, but it had stopped and seized somewhere there. And I wasn't paying attention, and I just spun it, spun it, not looking, and I thought, okay, it's bottomed out, it's at the end. I installed everything. When I went to put the drum on, it wouldn't slide over the shoes because the shoes were out too far because the adjuster wasn't all the way home. So make sure the threads are clean and make sure you wind this in all the way until it stops. As you can see there, that's all the way in. Otherwise, you're going to have to be pulling everything apart to re-clean the adjuster and uh, winding it in further. But that's about it. 
So let's get to putting these drums together. mistake just because I was rushing that I had to rectify I had this spring in that hole and it was binding up so just be mindful outer hole to outer hole not the inner ones all right let's get the drum on So my long champs came in from Japan. Pretty good condition. And I also bought four tires off Facebook Marketplace. Scored them for about $80 for all four. Two 15 by 60s. So that'll do for now on here. And I can also replace the 205s that are on here because they're a little bit dry rotted. All right, let's go to the tire shop and get them on. All right, so we've got the rear drum brakes all assembled. Spinning freely. And these are self-adjusting the shoes. So we just have to lift the handbrake a few times. drum should be locked which it is 
check the other side got the uh, tires fitted to my long champs 215 60s maybe I'll go 225s we'll see how they fit make sure they don't foul on the car drum brake is locked it's a little high I might try and adjust that um adjust the rod length in to drop that and our brakes are free Especially considering I did put in the lowered strut top mounts from a 240Z when I built the shocks and spring. So it really should be sitting two inches lower than it was when I actually had the car on the road and driving. But it's not, it's actually sitting higher. So what's the reason for that? I'm not sure. It could be because there's still no weight in the back of the car, but I'm not entirely convinced. Because what goes in the back end? A fuel tank, rear bumper bar, rear glass, rear quarter window glass. That's about all the weight that goes in the back end of these things. 100, 120 kilos. I'm really not convinced that's what's causing the back end to sit too high. Uh, it was sitting lower before, but the shocks were blown. So I'm guessing those stock springs would have been sagging down, causing the back end to uh, actually be lower. So how am I going to rectify it? Well, I still do have those lowered springs that I didn't put in, so maybe I'll pull that shock assembly back out, fit the lowered springs, and hopefully that'll bring that uh, rear guard gap down to a more respectable level. So I'll do that in the next couple of videos. Won't be in the next one, because in the next video, I'm continuing on with a little bit of my interior trimming. So keep an eye out for that one, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.